This is um, a soprano ukulele and the soprano is the smallest and it's the original size of the instrument so this is kind of the traditional uh, side of things as it were. Uh, the ukulele being a Hawaiian instrument this one's actually made in Hawaii which is rather nice. The shop, the Duke of Uke, it started I think about six years ago now. Basically Matthew Reynolds, the shop owner, was a, a big ukulele um, aficionado and he had a collection of um, ukuleles of varying vintages and so on and uh, the slightly mad idea of opening a dedicated ukulele shop occurred to him, although there was method in his madness because the the instrument itself had been out of fashion for several decades and in a sense it was long overdue for a rediscovery. He reasoned that when the ukulele was rediscovered, which it was ripe for, there would be something of a boom, which was in fact fortunately for us what happened. Initially it was very important for us that the shop was in this area, Shoreditch, the, the RT East End, because certainly in the early days the, the ukulele as an instrument had a great sort of RT cachet um, and for the first couple of years probably a lot of our customers were, were really um, people who were sort of a little bit cutting edge as it were. I think the the look of the shop, the the aesthetic um, look, actually does come very much from from the ukulele. Um, I know that a lot of the shops in this area, particularly the ones involved in in clothing, um, actually no, lots, not just the clothing ones. Come to think about it, all have a strong, uh, frequently quite retro style. Um, in our case, it, it's really tied into. The fact that the original heyday of the ukulele took place in the, the 20s to the 30s, most specifically in the, in the States. So things like our large black crows um, that hang around and the, the general uh, bits and bobs that are around the shop are sort of um, redolent of that period. Um, I suppose also the fact that that informs the, the kind of look of the place. But it is tied very much into the instrument itself rather than just a kind of um, hodgepodge uh, look, retro look, yeah. Music shops, a lot of music shops have a terrible reputation for unfriendliness. Um, you go in there sometimes, especially if you're quite young and it's like, oh, I'm not allowed to touch anything. If you pick something up, someone frowns at you. And we really don't want it to be like that. Because we've all, everyone in the shops are musicians, so we've all, you know, suffered under that sort of, you know, frowning um, gaze from time to time. The other thing is that as the ukulele is very often a first time instrument for people, people they've never played an instrument before, so we need to try and make it comfortable for them, you know, take the fear off uh, as, as soon as possible. Just pick it up, make friends with it, brush your hand over it, it makes a nice sound. And, and that, you know, get rid of the chill factor. I think that's very important. Um, in order to encourage them and also so we can make a sale, you know, I mean, it's, it's all part of the the service but it's all part of being a business too. The ukulele tuition that we do, we do we do private tuition but the prime thing is the, the group tuition that takes place in the shop in the evenings. Really it's important for us to do that because it's part of the whole package of the shop's existence. We run three times a year in, in ten week terms. Uh, there's normally about 
10 or 12 people per group with a couple of tutors. It's very informal, although the tutors do make sure that people learn stuff. <laughs> Uh, everyone's coming you're coming in everyone's coming in where they were before so exactly the same but then you guys are going to look for the non a couple of the groups will be pure beginners other groups are usually people that have done the beginners course and then want to move up to another level so that's an enjoyable thing for the tutors too that to watch people developing uh, musically and again I think it, it sort of does help spread the the word about the shop and it also does sort of help to increase the community aspect as well because the more people that you get in the shop more often the more that will that will you know blossom